Hi girls, thank you guys so much for watching. So today's video is going to be a how I dye my hair extensions. So when I ordered my hair extensions, I typically always get the darkest brown. It's almost like the closest to black. Um, but they sent me the wrong color or maybe they just like changed the colors or I don't know The point is they're way too light for my hair color So I was like, well, I was gonna send them back to get some darker ones But I was like, I'm gonna do a video to show you girls how you can go about darkening your hair extensions Keep in mind that I am not a licensed cosmetologist, so I don't really know too much about hair um, but I did work for Sally Beauty Supply for a little over two years and um, I kind of learned like the you know the basics of like um, hair color and like the depositing and the whole like lifting thing but I just um, want you guys to know that if you guys go out and buy the hair dye and it doesn't come out exactly how you want it to I don't want you guys to like come and attack me because like I said I'm not a licensed cosmetologist um, if you order your extensions and they are too dark and you want to go lighter I would recommend to send them back to the company that you ordered them from um, I also have a coupon code for the luxury for princess So I will go ahead and leave the coupon somewhere in the video and as well as the description box below and the website where you can purchase the, um, the hair extensions so like I was saying um, if your hair is too dark and you want to go like a blonde um, if you bleach them like it's gonna be really hard to like bleach not only is it gonna be hard to bleach but you're gonna like damage the hair because bleaching strips you know the whole hair and then it's like hard to tone and then to deposit the actual color that you want and it's just it's just really really hard so I would recommend to either send it back to the company or just go with your hairstylist to help you you know fix that but the reason why it's easy for me to go from the hair extension color that I have now to the dark color is because it's a dark color and you can't really go wrong I mean the only thing that can go wrong is that they turn out black but like you know throughout the washes like they'll start to um, you know lighten up so let me show you guys the hair extensions that I have right now so this is the color I don't know if you guys can see the difference between the hair extension color it's a beautiful color don't get me wrong but my hair is very very fried and I cannot process my hair anymore because I don't know if you guys remember but my hair used to be blonde um, so this color is oh and this is the 22 inch in the 260 grams um, and it is the color is the number two but it's just like it's just too light so I went to Sally Beauty Supply and I picked up three of the um, 3N Color Brilliance Ion Color I'm sure you guys have seen these at your local Sally's and uh, I picked up the liquid just because I don't really like to get cream there's not really a difference between cream and liquid it's the same thing um, but I picked up the liquid because I have the cream developer and when I use cream and cream like the the developers cream and then the colors cream it's just too hard to like paint the extensions and since I'm always in a hurry and um, I always just want to like I'm too excited to wear my new hair extension so I'm just like okay whatever like I need something that's going to be quick um, so the reason why I'm taking the 10 developer is because we're just depositing color we don't want to lift um, so that's why I got the 3N and we're going to use the 10 um, 10 the 10 developer is gonna make it like the darkest so if you want it to be a little bit lighter then I would recommend to use a 20 um, so I bought three of these because you know the hair extensions are really thick and I'd rather have a little bit more um, or I'd rather have left over than to have less because I don't like my hair extensions to look blotchy um, and then what you're also going to need is sorry I left all this stuff over there so then I'm going to go ahead and be using this bowl. You guys could go ahead and use a kitchen bowl if y'all are balling on a budget. Um, and a hair color brush thingy. Um, I got these two at Sally's. I think this one was like 2 or $3. And then this bowl was like $3 or something like that. It's not, it's not expensive. Um, and then you're obviously going to need some gloves because you don't want to make a mess. I don't know. We didn't have more of these, so I was just like, fuck it, I'll just use this one. I don't know. I think it's my dad's. I found it in the garage. Um, and then you're also going to need, um, I use trash bags. Oh, I got three. I have three of them. Um, I like to lay them out 
I like to have one bag like laid out for when I'm actually like um, dyeing them and then I'll pick up the hair and then put another bag and then put the hair on the other bag to kind of like let them sit and then I let them sit there for about like 45 minutes around that time just until I feel like you know the hair dye has fully processed and my hair looks dark enough for me to wash it off and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I wash them and then what type of conditioners I use um, for my hair extensions, I use the same shampoo and conditioner that I use for my own hair. It is the Schwarzkopf Split End Mender one, or it's the... I don't know, I'll show you guys within the video. Um, that's, that's the shampoo and conditioner that I have been using because, like I said, my hair is very fried. And a lot of you have been interested in, like, knowing what I use for my hair. So if you guys want a separate video on information of, like, you know, how I maintain my hair because it's fried as fuck, Go ahead and leave um, your comment down below and I will be sure to get to that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to know how I dye my extensions, then please keep on watching. So we're just going to first start off by mixing the developer along with the actual hair dye. So with this hair dye, we're just going to go ahead and do equal parts. So we're going to fill in the bowl one at a time with two ounces of the cream developer and then we're going to go ahead and mix in the whole bottle of the liquid um, hair dye and then we're just going to go ahead and mix that until everything is mixed from here i went ahead and laid out the actual hair extension we're going to do piece by piece and just make sure that everything is combed out i went ahead and fast forwarded this because this takes some time just make sure that you saturate every hair strand and once you're done doing one side flip it over and do the same to the other side so again we're going to go ahead and do this same process and just saturate every single um, piece of hair extension and that's pretty much the whole like secret behind dyeing hair extensions a lot of people kind of always um, get scared to dye their hair extensions but it's it's not it's not that hard it's pretty much the same as dyeing your own hair if you were to be going darker so go ahead and just set them off to the side for about 45 minutes or whatever time that the box instructs you to do and just wait for them to develop and then we're gonna go ahead and wash them Now it's time to shampoo and condition the hair extensions. I'm going to use the same shampoo and conditioner that I use for my own hair. This is the Repair Rescue Deep Treatment Mask and this one is by Schwarzkopf. This one you can actually purchase at your local um, Cosmoprof. And the reason why it was on sale is because they reformulated the product. So um, the ones that were like old, they decided to reduce it so I went ahead and bought all of them um, and then the shampoo that we're gonna be using is just a regular finesse drugstore shampoo nothing too fancy I feel like the deep conditioner is what matters and not really necessarily the shampoo because the hair extensions are brand new and they're not damaged so there I am <laughs> being a weirdo and we're gonna <laughs> go ahead and turn on the water and there's nothing really fancy about washing the hair extensions you literally just grab like I said piece by piece and just rinse off the actual hair dye grab the shampoo lather it up rinse it off pretty much the same way you would wash your own hair Once we are all done shampooing and rinsing off the extensions, the next step is to condition the hair. So I don't really like to drench my hair extensions with a lot of conditioner because this conditioner gets expensive and I don't want to use it on my extensions because like I said, my extensions aren't really damaged but I really love the way this conditioner makes the hair feel afterward because it can, sometimes extensions can feel a little bit dry and like crusty after. So go ahead and just kind of roughly apply the conditioner to the extensions leave them in for about five minutes leave um 
leave them in. Leave the conditioner in for about five minutes and then rinse it off. So I like to treat my hair extensions just as I would with my hair. Um, so as always, every time I get out of the shower to detangle my hair, I use the Schwarzkopf Repair Rescue Split and Mender along with um, the Schwarzkopf Oil. And I like to mix both of them in my hand. The conditioner is just to obviously make my hair softer and the oil to make it shinier. And I love, 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 love to use my wet brush if you guys have never tried this brush you guys should <laughs> because it seriously like makes detangling your hair so much easier and i will never go back to using a regular brush again so i definitely recommend to get these and like i said just i like to mix both of them rub them on the hair and then detangle And that is pretty much the whole process. Um, now you just let them dry and then wait to clip them in the next day. I did not record myself wearing them, but you guys can go ahead and look on my Instagram for selfies when I'm wearing the extension. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys all in my next one.